Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. Here is the Seafood News for Monday, May 19th, 2014. There was speculation that the Atlantic Cod would be flooding the market, creating a downward spiral in price. But that seems to not be the case. Reports show that inventories are not as expected and approximately only 40% of the quota remains to be caught. Raw materials have increased by about 15% in the past two weeks from 2,700 to 3,100 per metric ton. Much of the landings have been large raw material, consequently driving small raw material to even higher levels of 3,300 per metric ton. Speculation is for higher costs by an additional 400 to 500 a metric ton in the next few months. Atlanta cod had dropped below $3 a pound for loins, but we, are now, but we now expect the market to move up quickly by 20 to 30 cents a pound. According to all indicators, the overall weakness of the cod pricing and large inventories is over, and the rebound to stronger pricing is immediate. In other news, according to the NOAA Climate Prediction Center, there is a 65% chance of a transition to El Nino this summer, and, could, and it could be the worst in decades. Recent reports have shown above average sea surface temperatures across the equatorial Pacific Ocean. The shift in water temperature is likely to cause the movement of fish into more northerly waters. One of the major consequences of El Nino is the movement of commercially important species affecting both fishermen and markets. This has been observed with yellowtail, Pacific bonito and albacore tuna and many of the rockfish species move from near shore areas into deeper or more northerly and cooler temperature waters. A recent example of this market shift can be seen with the movement of, squid, of the squid market away from the California fisheries. El Nino is poor for squid fishing and warm waters force squid deep into offshore to cooler waters greatly limiting the catch. The worst El Nino on record occurred in 1997, causing massive flooding throughout Asia, resulting in death, destruction and an increase in global food prices. The FAO's recently published Food Outlook for 2014 forecasts a reduction in South American catches of small pelagic species, leading to higher fish meal and feed prices. We will be sure to update you as more weather forecasts and scientific reports become available on this phenomenon. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.